Norwich has 32 medieval churches that have been redundant since the 1970s. Many of them are still closed, but some have reopened, although this time without religious purpose. St. Gregory Portgate, a church at the Norwich Centre, has now become a vintage market. Sam, a dealer, introduces a reason for this change. Okay, so the reason why this is uh, no longer a church is because Norwich as a city is quite unreligious. It recently became uh, known in the UK survey that Norwich is the most unreligious city in the UK. And when you have a drop in uh, church numbers, usually the smaller churches are the ones that closed before major cathedrals or major churches. Um, but this has been empty for, uh, or been ceased to be a church. Uh, for quite a few years. So. Is there many people come here to browse or buy something, or this is just like an exhibition? We do have a lot of people come here. Uh, on weekdays, uh, usually it's fairly quiet. There is a huge variety of goods for customers to choose from. example here. This is a 1930s uh, drop bead crystal necklace. Very typical of the 1930s. So we've got this really nice sort of red glass and then we've got a pearl there at the bottom. Uh, very typical of the, of the Art Deco period. Another church, St. Michael's Coslany, has been hired by a circus company for general training. Not of animals, but of people. We were searching for a just thought it was perfect for what we needed. Um, it's very difficult to find a space that's suitable for circus training, because, partly because of the height that we need. Uh, so obviously there's a really big height here, which is amazing. It's got a really nice energy. It's really, um, it feels really open and well. 18 medieval churches are managed by the Norwich Historic Churches Trust at present. I think it's one of the few ways we can maintain the churches. There's no public money, there's no money from government or any other organisation that will pay to keep these churches as they are. And we have to find money to keep them in good order. Uh, if they were allowed to not be used and just sit, they would deteriorate. So yes, I think it's probably the best way to go. So, these old churches are not only satisfying a useful public service, they are also helping to preserve beautiful architecture that could so easily fall into decay.